Hi friends, Hello. it's Miss Tracy and Miss Anna from Smith County Public Library and we're here to read your books about Dr. Seuss and to tell you about this little Dr. Seuss packet you can come by and pick up at your library. In that packet you have a book list of all the many, many books of mm -hmm. Dr. Seuss. You can check them off and see which ones you've read, which ones you haven't read. Check out the ones you need at the library. We have, um, ooh, a craft. Looks yes. like this. You can make a cat in that. We have a bookmark in there. I love this saying. It says, oh, this quote, you can find magic wherever you look. Sit back and relax. All you need is a book. And when I was a kid, I thought Dr. Seuss books were incredibly magical. Mm -hmm. I still do. Um, Miss Hannah found you a recipe for green eggs and ham. And you get not one, but two coloring sheets. That's right. <laughs> so um, I'm going to start with this book. Actually, I'm not going to start with it. I'm just going to read it. It's the only one I'm reading, so there's no start to it. It's called I Wish That I Had Duck Feet. It's my when I was a little kid, and I absolutely love it. So before I read, we're going to ring the bell. Everyone gather around for story time. You put your hands together like this. You put them in front of your mouth so you're not talking anymore, and then you click them forward like so. Then you open and close them like a book. Read, read, read a book. Travel anywhere. Worldwide, you decide a book can take you there. <laughs> and I need to tell you, this mask, let's see, lots of Seuss characters on it, and it was made by Elaine at the front desk. A She's very so own Elaine O'Linger. Okay, here we go. I wish that I had duck feet. This is the cover, so you can see all the cool cloud. Cloud watching is such a fun thing to do. Hmm. I wish that I had duck feet, and I can tell you why. You can splash around in duck feet. You don't have to keep them dry. Oh, that's true. I wish that I had duck feet. No more shoes. No shoes for me. That man down at the shoe store, he wouldn't have my size. You see? Look at him. He's like, no, no, no. I don't need them. I got duck nice. feet. I wish I had two duck feet. I could laugh at Big Bill Brown. <laughs> I would say, you don't have duck feet. These are all there are in town. For some reason, he and Big Bill Brown have a thing that goes on throughout the whole book. I think it would be very good to have them when I play. Only kids with duck feet on can ever play this way. See the face on Big Bill Brown? See the look on his face? Yeah. I think he's jealous. I think he might be. But my mother would not like them. She would say, get off my floor. She would say, you take those duck feet and you take them out the door. Don't you ever come in here with duck feet on again. Now don't. So I wish that I had duck feet. I guess I can't have duck feet. I would like to, but I won't. Mm -hmm. Too much mess. It does. Mama said no. So if I can't have duck feet, I'll have something else instead. Say... I know wish I, what I wish I wish I had. Two horns up on my head. Look, his dog is confused. His dog's kind of scared. <laughs> I wish I had two deer horns. That would be a lot of fun. Then I could wear ten hats up there. Big Bill can wear just one. Well, I'd be able to wear my entire hat collection you if would. I had horns. <laughs> this is the only hat I own right here. I wish, I mean, I think they would be very good to have when I play ball. Then nobody could stop me. No, sir. No one at all. I wouldn't dare stop me either. You might get gored. Yeah, I'd be afraid. My horns could carry books and stuff like paper, pens and strings, and apples for my teacher, and lots of other things. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> you jingling when you walk with all that. But if I had big deer horns, I would never get a ride. I could never catch the school bus. I could never fit inside. You'd have to get a convertible. Yeah. Can't ride the school bus and see there's big old brown laughing at him right there. Oh, that bully. I know, but you know, he's, I think this is jealousy. I think you're right. Uh -huh. And so, I won't have deer horns. I'll have something else instead. I wish I had a whale spout, a whale spout on my head. Oh, no. <laughs> it looks like a traffic cone, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> when days get hot, it would be good to spout my spout in school. And then Miss Banks would say, thanks, thanks. You keep our school so cool. Until you had to clean it up. Right. So they don't have air conditioning there, so they're all excited about that fountain. Everyone but Big Bill Brown, look at his face. He's mm. not excited about it. His paper's getting wet. He's not very happy. Mm. Can't say I blame him that time. I 
could play all day in summer, I would never feel the heat. I would beat Big Bill at tennis. I would play him off his feet. For two kids that don't like each other, they sure play a lot. I know, right? They're together all the time. But here we go. My mother would not like it. I know what she would say. Not in this house. Not you take that off. You take that spout away. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I know that she would tell me, I don't want that spout about. And my mother does not want a thing. It's O-U-T. It's out. That's right. No, nope, nope. She didn't like the duck feet and she doesn't like this anymore. Too much mess. It does. And so, I will not have one. I don't wish to be a whale. Mm -hmm. I think it would be better if I had a long, long tail. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that tail. That's what he's going to get into now. I mean, that might get shut in a door, honestly. Mm -hmm. The car door or something. Trip over someone. I wish I had a long, long tail. Look at that. They're playing jump rope. Everyone but Big Bill Brown. Mm -hmm. Someday I will, I hope. And then I'll show the kids in town a new way to jump rope. If I had a long, long tail, I know what I would like. I would like to ride down State Street pulling girls behind my bike. <laughs> That's funny because there's a State Street nearby. Mm -hmm. Everybody's excited about it. I wish I had a long, long tail, and I can tell you why. I could hit a fly 10 feet away and hit him in the eye. Ooh. I know Miss Banks would like this. She would smile and she would say, no other boy in town can hit a fly so far away. They have an um, insect problem there at school, I guess. They do. But here he is again, Big Bill Brown. If I had a long, long tail, I know that Big Bill Brown would tie me in a tree. He would, then how would I get down? Look at that smug look on his face. Mm -hmm. I don't think that I would like it with my tail tied in a tree. The more I think about it, no. No long, long tail for me. No, that, that's a good choice. And so if I can't have a tail, I would like a long, long nose. A nose just like an elephant. The longest nose that grows. And he's getting at the cookies. Oh, that would be useful. Yeah. I wish I had a long, long tail and I can tell, a long, long nose, excuse me. And I can tell you why. I think it would be very good to get at things up high. The dog is excited about this oh, one. Oh, yes. Cookies. <laughs> Every kid in town would love it. Every kid, but guess who? Big Bill Brown. Mm-hmm. Every time I saw him, I would sneeze and knock him down. Oh. I don't think I would like that either if no, I were Big Bill Brown. I feel bad for Big Bill Brown. Say, I could help the firemen. My nose would be just right. I could help them put out fires a hundred times a night. But that would be useful. Yeah, but that's a crazy town with a hundred fires a night, isn't yeah, that's, it? Yeah, that's a lot of trouble. Oh, I would do a lot of things that no one ever did. And everyone in town would say, just watch that long-nosed kid. These are the, this is what we had for playground equipment when I was a kid. And some people had the feeling like Big Bill Brown, like that's not cool at all. Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Oh, but now it's not going to be mom. It's going to be dad. Ready? If I had a long, long nose, I know what dad would do. My dad would make me wash the car, the house, and windows too. Dad's got something to read. He's got a book to read. He mm -hmm. can't be bothered washing the car. No. My dad would make me work all day and wash things with that hose. So I guess it would not be so good to have a long, long nose. Mm -mm. Not if you have to work all day like no. that, huh? And at night, too, if he's going to put out all those fires. Oh, my gosh, that's right. He's probably tired. Yeah. Whew. Now, let me think about it. All these things I want are bad. And so I wish, I wish, I wish, what do I wish I had? Hmm. I know what, I know just what, I know just what to do. I wish that I had all those things. Oh, I'd be my. a witch what who. Look He's definitely every, something. Look at everybody's face. <laughs> They're all like terrified and frightened and confused. And mm -hmm. He is patriotic though. He's got the flag. He's got, he's more animal than boy at this point. Yeah. But the people would not like it. Mm -mm. They would be so scared, I bet. They would call the town policeman. They would catch me in a net. Yep. Oh, no. That sounds like what they would do. Nobody wants that. No. Okay. Turn the page here, Tracy. It's hard to turn the pages when you can't lift your fingers sometimes. They would put me in the zoo house. Oh, no. With my horns and nose and feet. And hey, just hey, two times a day is all I'd get to eat. Look at the lion next to him. Even he isn't friends with him. He's not very yummy. Nope. It would Goodness. not do to live in a zoo. No, I wouldn't want to be in a cage like that and just get hay. Ugh. 
That sounds awful. I think mm. I would be very sad when people came to call. No, I do not think a witch what who would be much fun at all. Mm -mm. So look how sad he is. And people are staring at him and the lion is hissing at him. I'm just having a tough time with this decision. Poor witch what who. I know. And so there are some things I do not wish to be. And that is why I think that I just wish to be like me. Excellent choice. I know. That's well, I the love best that. Choice. Everybody celebrates that choice. Even Big Bill Brown. Yeah, everybody likes that choice. And then the last little page shows him tossing all that in the trash and walking away happily. Yeah. I always loved that story when I was a kid. And I even love it now. It's okay. A story. I know. It's one of the short ones because some of Dr. Seuss's books are very, very long, such as One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. Mm -hmm. Such a long book. Mm -hmm. So here's a shorty for you, and here's another shorty that is super, super great. I love it. It's Marvin K. Mooney, Will You Please Go Now? <laughs> and this is published by Random House. I'm sure that everyone has had someone they want to go away. Maybe a bug, mm -hmm. or a thunderstorm, or a little sibling. Yeah, sibling, yeah. I've been there. But that is exactly what this book is about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The time has come, and there's our there's Marvin K. Mooney. The time has come. The time is now. Oh, he looks stubborn. Just go, go, go. I don't care how. You can go by foot. You can go by cow. Marvin K. Mooney, will you please go now? <laughs> you can go on skates. You can go on skis. You can go on a hat. But please go. Please. He's swinging a hat. That's funny. I don't care. You can go by bike. You can go on a Zyke bike if you like. If you like, you can go in an old blue shoe. Just go, go, go. Please do, do, do. <sighs> Marvin, just get out of here already. Go home, Marvin. Marvin K. Mooney, I don't care how. Marvin K. Mooney, will you please go now? You can go on stilts. You can go by fish. You can go in a crunk car if you wish. That's and the that's way I would go. Look at that. Look yeah. at that crunk car. That looks fun. That does. That does. Better in a blue shoe. Mm -hmm. Or the hat. If you wish, you may go by lion's tail or stamp yourself and go by mail. <laughs> See. Marvin K. Mooney, don't you know the time has come to go, go, go? Get out of here, Marvin. Go. Get on your way, please, Marvin K. You mind going in the Zumblese? This is Zumblese. That looks like a pretty fun way to go, too. You can go by balloon or broomstick, or you can go by camel in a baru, a baru drawer. Bureau. Bureau drawer. <laughs> All the rhyming words, and then I, I mess up on the one that I know. <laughs> you can go by bumble boat or jet. I don't care how you go. Just get out of here get yourself a gazoom you can go with a boom Ooh. marvin 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 will Ooh. you please leave this room marvin k mooney i don't care how marvin k mooney will you please go now i said go and go i meant the time had come so, Marvin went. <laughs> the <laughs> end. How did he go? We don't know. No. That's he was gone. That's your imagination. That's the cool thing about Dr. Seuss. Lots of imagination. Well, um, we love books, and we love you, and we want you to come by the library and mm -hmm. pick up a craft kit mm -hmm. or just stop out front and say, I'm here. Come say hi. We'll do that, too, because yeah. we're so excited to see you. We are. And we'll bring out whatever books you need, mm -hmm. and we'll help you out however we can. Absolutely. And until next time, we'll do some more books later. Bye, friends. Bye, friends.